Yeah, hey, what's up, guys? I hope you guys are doing fine. We'll be talking about the Coraco clavicular ligament, okay? If you hear about the Coraco clavicular, what, what, what comes to your mind? Coraco clavicular. Okay, that's like uh, from the coracoid process of the scapula to the clavicle bone, okay? So this is uh, the ligament that is actually um, adjoining the coracoid process of the scapula bone to uh, the clavicle, okay? So now it's for us to discuss the anatomy of the coracoclavicular ligament, right? Now you could see that um, you could see the coracoclavicular ligament here. You could see that they are pointing to. So actually, two ligaments make up the coracoclavicular ligament. But you see all of them extending from the um, from the coracoid process to underneath the scapula. Okay. So let's move. The coracoclavicular ligament serves to connect the clavicle with the coracoid process of the scapula. It does not properly belong to the acromioclavicular joint articulation, okay? But usually described with it. Now, since it forms a most efficient accessory ligament, maintaining a position of clavicle to the acromion, okay? It consists of two fascicles. That's why I was telling you guys that actually two ligaments actually make up the coracoclavicular ligament okay it consists of two fascicles which are the trapezoid ligament and the conoid ligament okay so this is the coracoclavicular ligament okay and the coracoclavicular ligament is actually made up of two ligaments okay which are the trapezoid ligament and the conoid ligament okay now um let's talk about these um, ligaments individually and the trapezoid ligament is anterolaterally placed at the joint, almost horizontally, okay, and is quadrilateral in shape, okay, while the conoid ligament is posteromedial, okay, and is dense, okay, and almost vertically placed, okay. So let's see, guys. Um, you can see uh, this is a conoid, okay, almost vertical, okay. There you could see this is uh, the trapezoid. It is quadrilateral. It has like four sides. Okay, so that's it. Um, let's keep moving. And the two the two fascicles are in relations anteriorly with the subclavius and deltoid muscles, and posteriorly with the trapezius. Okay, uh, the trapezoid ligament spans between the superior surface of the coracoid process and the trapezoid line on the inner surface of the clavicle okay let me repeat this again the trapezoid ligament spans between the superior surface of the coracoid process okay and the trapezoid line on the inferior i told you that the two ligaments actually insert inferior to the clavicle okay under the clavicle from the coracoid process to under the clavicle okay so that's it guys um this is just an image showing the shoulder joint not really showing all the ligaments that we need to actually describe okay so that's it guys for this lecture and see you guys in the next one bye for now